Hey everybody, Superfluous J here, playing more Wayfarer Journey, whatever, Legendary <laughs> Unexplored 2, The Wayfarer's Legacy, I think it is. Um, <laughs> great intro there, Supes. Let's keep it going. Uh, anyway, did we, we last time we worked our way around here, we picked up a bunch of stuff, um, went to this trading post, got lost, went up here, um, got almost killed, and then finally made it to this trading post where we... Um, finally sold all of our stuff. Now we're going to go down to this other trading post, uh, mostly as a, as a pass-through to get to the Garden of Yendor, which we've never actually been to. In the in the intro, in the intro, you, you get, uh, you, get, you go there, but uh, we didn't do the intro, so, <laughs> so we just started at Haven, which was convenient, but uh, I haven't seen the, the thing yet, so... Let's see what this trading post has. Maybe we'll trade for stuff if they have anything we want. Uh, if not, we will just move on, move on. The sun is setting, so we could spend the night here as well. Oh, there's a Raffi. Do you like mushrooms? I do like mushrooms. It's not uncommon to find edible mushrooms in caves. I knew this. If you are in a pinch, it might be worth your while to look for them. Uh, but know that the dark places are rarely abandoned. Okay, what's uh, what's up here? Is it just yeah? It's just a dead end. Let's see, there's a trader here and a wolf main visitor. Boars are famously used to track down Heartroot, and a popular spot for that is the Way Shrine in Ar Arberg Forest. Well, I'm I'm in Arberg Forest. There's a Way Shrine. A good place to camp. It has a magical hearth that keeps enemies at bay when its flames are burning. And there are boars there, so I could probably get meat. Hmm. That's a thing. That's a thing. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's inspect this well. There's nothing inside. Okay, now let's talk to the trader. What do you got? You got any books or anything? You got repair kits? I could probably get rid of one of my repair kits. You got a wild... Oh, it tents. I, I thought for sure that said Wild West Tent, and I was like, that seems like a weird theme for, for, for a tent, but hey. Um, a West Wind Tent, a very practical tent made to suit the needs of traveling merchants. Tiny embroidered eyes are stitched at odd angles at the edges of the fabric. Um, negates the effects of rain when camping outside. I've had that problem. Uh, it has three uses, and it is one encumbrance. Um... I might skip that, but I might pick up this healing potion, more mushrooms, rust blat. You gain strong and poison. I don't think so. More turnips. Way red is definitely on the list. And then let's see if I can if I can trade him enough stuff to get that back. Okay, so if I want to give him a repair kit, that's like worth nothing. Um, he doesn't care about torches. This dagger's worth a decent amount, and I'm not using it. Nah, I don't think it's going to happen. What if I just get the waybread? If I just want the waybread, and I want to give him a repair kit. And a torch. And both torches. Have a deal. Okay, we'll take it. Probably not worth it, but I think that was a good idea. I don't want to douse his fire. That seems jerky. Uh, let me... There's nothing around here. There is another exit over here. Or is this where I came from? No, this is just a place. There's nothing out here. No. Yeah, the, the 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 crouching to search thing seems to have a wider range than I than I thought it did to begin with. It's like almost everything you can see on the screen. We meet again. Let's stay the night. Okay, I can eat now, but nothing I have is good for that because it's too far. Um, I can't preserve anything. Oops, I actually didn't want to leave. <laughs> I thought that was a different. I thought that was a different thing. I can wait until night, or I can rest. And I am fatigued, so I want to rest until night. And 
and I guess I want to rest until morning. There we go. Break camp, and let's get out of here. Later, nerds. I don't know if you can hear my cat. She is on the wrong side of the door. She would really like in. I think I'm going to pause this and uh, let her in. Okay, I'm back, and she is as well. <laughs> now, long-time listeners of the channel have heard that cat many times. There's a large cave here, uh, which has treasure in it. And then this way shrine has boars. Good place to camp. I want to go back to Haven, but it's so hard. There's three things along the way here. I could get lost. I'm in the wilderness and I have enemies. I think I'm going to... I think yeah, the Garden of Yendor has a hostile force causing trouble. In so maybe it's not a good idea to go to the Garden of Yendor. Because you do, like, escape... And you can get lost, which is annoying. This has a person we're going to encounter and then possibly get lost. Wow. Okay, well, let's, let's go this way, and then we'll work our way back down. We're going to skip the, uh, the garden. Who are we going to encounter? That's, that's the question that I don't know the answer to. Looks like there's people there. I don't actually see them. I see, like, bugs or something. Well, only one way to find out who's there. I got bitten. That's so annoying. There's these little dinky insects. Okay, so the mu these mushrooms aren't doing anything, which is good. Uh, the travelers are having a heated debate around a map. It seems that they can't make up their minds which path would be best. Well, let's help them out. Uh, you think you recognize the destination on their crude map? Well, apparently I don't because that's a failure. Um, you advertise an alternate route which would save time. They didn't find my advice. I'm definitely not going to waste... Time on that. Then there's nothing here. Can I pick any of these mushrooms? No. Okay. I definitely don't want to mess around with these mushrooms. So, that was nothing. We, we lost a day and we got fatigued and it looks like we got lost. I don't even remember. What, no, we didn't get lost. We got lost, we lost a day, and we got fatigued. Um, there's an opportunity here to rest in relative safety. We've been to this keep four times now, <laughs> so I, I know it kind of well. We do need to rest, though, because we are fatigued. So, the door is closed, which is annoying, because I specifically left it open on purpose. But maybe I can open it now that I've opened it once before. Let's find out together. Okay, I have a set of lock picks. I could try to pick the lock. Let's try it. No modifiers. Push your luck. I hear a faint click. You break a lock pit. Well, that's annoying. I mean, I know how to get in there. At least I know how I was able to get in there before. And that's with a key that I found down here. Oops, down here. So I guess we'll do this. I don't remember where I found it. I think it was in the room along the wall. There was a there was a bookshelf. There's two bookshelves that was it was in the wall between the two bookshelves. <clears throat> and remember any angry trees can be lulled into happiness with let's see. 
Ah, take large key. So yeah, so the some things reset. Now I wonder, did have the bookshelves been have the bookshelves been restocked? That makes no sense that they would be. But pff, they have been. Sweet. Primordial times four. Definitely gonna sell those next time. Hilariously, it's exactly the same stuff that was here before. There's like a potion or a scroll here somewhere. Yep. I do not spot anything of interest. Okay, what about here? Nope. All I got was primordial times four. Excuse me. But I can use this large key to get in up here. Excuse me, trees. I haven't found a teleporter. But there apparently is one. And then there's a copper key in here. No, there's not. The, the copper key isn't needed down here. I don't remember what's in here. <laughs> I think is something was here. Oh, the, there's a forge here. Yeah, this is where I this is where I forged this. So I don't I obviously don't need it. So I might as well check this box here. Oh, my sword! I'm not even encumbered. So I might as well bring it with me. Maybe I can sell it in Haven. And I can camp in relative safety up here. So I'm going to do that. And then we will move on and head, keep heading back to Haven. And then I guess, I guess we should probably do like... Too close to level border. Okay, that was a weird thing. Um... I don't need a fire. I don't need to eat. None of my food's gonna go bad. So yeah, let's rest until evening. You are not tired, okay. Now I can't get out through this door, <laughs> which is annoying. Uh, leave the lock alone. I've already failed picking it once. So I guess I have to leave the way I came. Which is <laughs> the long way, but at least I got at least I got to rest in relative safety. Yeah, a little a little bit of fast travel back to the exit would not be would not be looked down upon here. Okay, let's try this let's try this flute here. Um I said I was gonna try it next time I had. Oh, there's there's actually a book about how to use the flute. An old journal, click to drop. Mac map fragment. Um I don't know what to do with it if I if if I do just literally drop it. I thought I had a book about the flute. Quick items. Playing a tune on this flute. Okay. So if I hit X. And it worked. I gotta complain. Don't know why someone would complain about it working, but I'm not gonna be one of those people. Okay, I'm not gonna fight the spiders or anything. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. That's Q whenever I need it. <clears throat> of course, it's evening, which means we'll be traveling at night, but. 
Seems to be my MO. Have bad timing for things. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and the mysterious tower. Uh, there's nothing bad about it. Imperials are collecting ancient books in a camp. Yeah, I've, I've been here and it failed miserably. And I'm not even going to go to it. I can't hold the travel here. I have to go here. I've never been here. But you get hunted twice. That's just terrible. Here I, here I merely get lost once. I have become fatigued. But I did make it here. Opportunity to find natural resources. Okay, let's explore the area. I think this is where I came across two Imperials that... I think now I'm I'm going to try to fight them if I uh, if I come across them. I definitely don't recall this. That seems like a lot of stuff to be able to collect over here. It's also very far away and very different Z levels. Oh, I'm not encumbered now. I could go back and try to climb that wall, but you know what? I had enough issues with that wall. Okay, uh, I can't go this way, so I have to go this way. By the way, just look at this game, is so beautiful. Uh, I think I could cross here, but I'll become wet. So I'm going to see if there's a, if there's like a bridge or something. That's a big no. I mean, I'm going to be camping anyway. Let's get the full-on overhead look here. Oh, looks like I'm going to... Get doubly wet. I don't know what that is. Nothing shows up. Harvest pink varro. Pink varro gained. I gained two pink varros. I'm going to assume that that's good. Got even more pink varro. Um, but that's all that's over here. I was kind of expecting more. Can I camp here? I can. Okay. Um, it is cold, so I'm going to light a fire. Don't need to eat. But I am going to sleep. Of course, I've dried up. Which is going <laughs> to... Which is going to go away because I'm going to have to cross the river again. But not much I can do about it. I don't know what wet does to you. I wish I wish I could click on this and like find out. Uh, find a flowering figment. What's a flowering figment? I've been everywhere. I thought I've been everywhere that I could be. Investigate. Ah, I thought that this was the thing I was doing it. Admire the flower. I'll wait until tomorrow. Well, okay. Tell you what. Let's light this fire. Let's, uh... I'm attuned. I'm attuned to roots. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oops. Camp. Learn a skill. Well, I'm not, I'm not doing anything until tomorrow anyway. I can produce two arrows a day. Don't want to do that. I can reduce the encumbrance of each non-combat item by one. Which doesn't sound bad. That would have possibly come in handy before. Avoid a hardship and reduce visibility in forests once per journey. I think I'm going to become a pack rat. And I've dried up. And it's morning. So let's... Uh, I have a formal education, so I get one extra draw. The mystery, the mis, the mysteries bloom. <laughs> the mysterious bloom climbs high with sensitive tendrils that seem to resonate with unseen forces. The air tingles with energy and the mystic fragrances. The bloom emits trigger and all sort of half forgotten memories by all who behold it. Well, let's touch a petal. Uh. This is this is why we're here. We're here to fondle the wildlife. 
And we succeed. You empty your mind, making room for new sparks of insights. Yay. We love sparks. Um, so I guess, did I get the thing? I am inspired and root attuned. So let's douse our fire. I have no idea if I succeeded at what I was supposed to do because I, I wasn't watching up here. The, the thing is gone now, though, which implies to me that I was successful. Ow. Stupid plants. <laughs> oh, driver's firewood. Now I now I'll be able to now I'll be able to camp uh, with a fire inside when there's no trees around, which will be nice. I've probably like come across dozens of those <laughs> over the course of this and not noticed them. Okay, we can go to Haven or we can go to this cliff. Uh, let's go to Haven. Um, I am wet still, but I don't know what being wet does. I dried up though, so hey, I have now become fatigued. And I've made it. Let's go. Our glorious return to Haven. <laughs> to give a bunch of books to the person here. Okay, let's go. Put away your weapons. I might talk. Yeah, I'm busy. Do you like mushrooms? I love mushrooms. Uh, I don't care about you guys. Uh, oh, investigator. I didn't even know that there was a thing to investigate here. Well, let's decipher this. Take your time. Well, I've got nothing but time. I uh, will play it safe. And I will succeed. It depicts the burial of an ancient hero among with all their valuables. You are not mistaken, they were buried in a barrow. Is it really? Oh, no, it's a different barrow. Well, that worked out for us before, so we might as well try it again. Uh, let's see, I don't want to go in the inn yet. I thought that's actually where I was. <laughs> I want to go to the where the lore keepers are. I think they're in the temple. I really don't remember. There we go, the lore keeper. Hey, Wayfarer, I'm the first lore keeper. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's see. It's like I've never talked to him before. Some thug stole an ancient meringue tome with valuable information. Da 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 da. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I've read all these. I thought I could give him books. Maybe it's a guy in here I give books to. Donate items. I see you have items in your possession that would make an excellent additional library. You want to part with them? Uh, of course I am. Raffi knowledge plus 14. I don't know what I could do with that knowledge. But I assume good things. Um, yeah, and I, I've, I've read all these things, so I don't need to read them again. There's, there's not going to be anything in here to find. So I think we should... I think we've we've screwed around enough. <laughs> we've uh, screwed around is probably the wrong term. We have investigated random places enough that we should go. I think it's it here. No, it's a form sigil. Somewhere, somewhere we found us there was a sky sigil. These guys don't like us. A mysterious door. A thief who stole an ancient burning tome is hiding in a ruin. Okay. 
Honestly, I, I kind of thought that the Sky Sigil... There's a scrying stone here. Yeah, I thought that they gave me a um, a hint as to where a Sky Sigil was, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. So... Maybe if I... Wait, wait, hold on. Maybe if I go into quests... Temple Jetbeak. Access the Prime Elemental Forge. The Prime Elemental Forge is located in the First Valley. Okay, so obviously this this is that's like a long time from now. So so I guess Temple Jetbeak is where we're going. Learn the location of Temple Onyx Claw. View on map. Uh, so I need... Oh, there's Temple Jetbeak. So I guess I want to go there. Can be found in Temple Jetbeak. So when I go there, I, I, I must learn these things. So, okay. So if I hit M for map... Temple Jetbeak is on the thing. Oh, and it's even got a star to tell me that, hey, this thing might be important. This is what I get. Oh, and then a low hill has a star, so that's obviously important as well. But it's really far away. So, okay. So I guess I guess we're going to Temple Jetbeak. And I guess we could start uh, right after taking a sleep at the inn here. We could probably get there. Hello. We could probably get there and then I'll end the episode there. Depending on how hard it is to get there, of course. Uh, let's see. Haven, uh, visitor, visitor. Put away your weapons. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see. These are visitors. Where's the innkeeper? Really? Oh, there he is. I was <laughs> like, where's the innkeeper? Oh, I'm crouched. Uh, you're not going to have anything to trade. You do have whey bread. And turnips. And you will take... Oh, these are clan gifts. Okay. Wow, he likes that book, and I have two of them, so... Okay, that's a deal. Stay the night. Uh, it's safe and comfortable. Nice. I'm still inspired, which is, I'm going to say nice. I don't actually know. I assume that that's good. Dumpa. You're a Doompa. Call me a Doompa. What'd I do to you? Okay, there's a tower over here that we know nothing about. And um, these guys are neutral, so we have a chance to uh, make them our friends if we are nice to people. We have become fatigued. Might as well explore the area. Never hurts. Well, I say that, but a lot of times me exploring an area actually does cause quite a bit of hurt uh, for me. But... Part of the deal. Okay. Um, my weapons are not out. So let's talk to this guy. I don't know who left all these old standing stones, but I have heard tell that the inscriptions they bear often contain old secrets. Some are even magical. It's magic. Okay, let's look at this. There's nothing in the well here. There's a trader and a visitor. Let's see what this guy has to say. The clifftop ruins... 
of Arberg Forest are, are famed Airberg are famed for their challenging climb. It's a great undertaking for those who wish to test their metal. Okay, there's a clue. Oh. So, is that going to show up with a star on it still? No. But if I click it, it says it has a clue. Opportunity to uncover information there. Okay, nice to know. Nice to know. Let's search over here. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Hubi stares absentmindedly into the setting sun. Very nice wares available to all comers who are wishing to trade. Well, let's check it out. What do you got? You got a quiver. You got a dirty travel cloak. Varro's kiss. It removes poisoned and gains poison immunity. That don't sound too bad. Uh, you got more bread. Do I have anything I'd want to trade you for that bread? Um, yeah, I think this stuff that I'm not going to use, this spoils today. That's annoying. Uh, can I... Oops, sorry. Put your weapons away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stay the night. Just to get the camping interface up. Yeah, I can't preserve food. I have no food that can be preserved. Yeah, I've got these things that are going to expire today. So I might as well eat one of them. Then break camp. Then talk to him. And trade the other one. <laughs> Uh, let's see, little items, this spoils in seven days, 90, this spoils today. Yeah, he literally doesn't care about it. That's hilarious, but we can, we can give it to him. Um, because I would like to trade it for the waybread, but that's probably not going to happen. Let's see. We have a deal for that, and I think I think it's worth it. Okay, then we need then we need to actually stay the night. And then we can get out of here. Let's see. We didn't go through this door yet. And that's why, because there's literally nothing over here. <laughs> One of the nice things about the procedural generation is is like that would happen in real life. Like, like he has a door out there because he that's where he likes to sit and watch the sunrise or something. There's no reason for me to go there. But, <laughs> but uh, what are you going to do? Dar Leap. Dare Leap. Um, this is like, though they're capital city. And then there's a barrow and then down here. So let's go ahead and go to their capital city. I'm still inspired. Don't know what that actually means, but... Oh, looks like we're going to have an encounter. Okay, oh, wolves. Wolves and these tree things. And I am way over here. Okay, so I just have to make it across here. Okay. So we got the tree here. It's not mad at the moment. Oh, it's mad now. I think I could run right through here like this. That's my goal. Okay, that seemed to have worked. I'd like to meet these wolves. Okay, I can kill them with one hit. That's nice. <laughs> he killed himself. Okay. Ow. Oh 
Okay, you're you're a big strong wolf. There you go. Now you're dead. You did a lot of damage to me, stupid wolf. This is the way out. Is there anything down here? Is there any reason to be here other than wolves killing me? Doesn't look like it. Feels like perhaps the random generation could have put <laughs> some sort of indicator that there's nothing that there's that that's blocked there, but um okay, I'm not fatigued or anything, so I think I'm gonna have a journey onward. Uh oh, now I've made it to my to where I wanna be. Is a dock? Oh no, it's a farm here. Let's go ahead and uh, explore this area, and as this builds up, I think I'm going to bid you adieu, because this episode's been going on long enough. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I uh, definitely enjoyed playing it. If you did enjoy watching it, you, by all means, click the like button down below. If you want to watch more, please click the subscribe button down below. I am Superfluous J, and I will, as always, talk at you later.